प्लीज सब्सक्राइब रमजान बयालू जी पर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel Ramzan Biology. In this lecture, we will talk about the uniqueness of organic compound. In previous lecture, we studied that uh, the organic compound are formed from the uh, bonding of carbon with carbon and carbon with other uh, uh, element like hydrogen, uh, oxygen. So, in this lecture, we will talk about the diversity and magnitude of organic compound and its uniqueness. That one organic compound is differentiated from another. How they are differentiated? And we will talk about the characteristics of ca carbon. That why the organic compound are different from each other, and by which virtue the carbon form the different organic compound. So, we will talk about this. So. Our topic is about this why carbon palm million of compounds. Actually, in previous lecture, we studied about the uh, organic compound that every organic compound is uh, formed from the uh, bonding of carbon. So, what is the reason? What is the reason that the that every organic compound is the uh, uh, is a uh, is a bonding palm of the carbon what is its reason and why carbon is still carbon is a element which have uh, atomic number six so, but why it have million of organic compound if we, in actually and after our observation if we look to every organic compound so all these are made of carbon so what is the reason the reason is this that there are some characteristics of carbon that allow carbon to come in different shapes and form different structure in order to give shape and give structure to different organic compound and with the different formulas in the chemical reaction like the carbon can bond with uh, hydrogen oxygen sulfur so etc they also make the bond in different angles and different shapes in the ring structure and branch structure and stride structure so they all allow carbon to make a uh, different organic compound so we will talk about these tips the first step of the uh, property of the carbon is the tetravalent the tetravalent mean carbon can form totally four covalent bond the tetravalent uh, uh, will mean that the carbon is allowed to make four covalent bond like this is a carbon so it will make four covalent bond So it make poor cohesion bond. So there are it come in different form. In some form it come there like some uh, chain form. So there are carbon is allowed to make poor bond. Therefore it is uh, a unique element. Second is carbon carbon bonding. Carbon possess continuation ability to covalently bonded with the other carbon atoms palm chain uh, palm chain star chain branched chain ring chain it means the continuation mean that like uh, if i take this is the carbon so the carbon is allowed to make bond with itself like it is the carbon is allowed to make stride chain and bond with each other make start chain it is also allowed to make branched chain like it also make branched chain you can see here branched chain it is also allowed to make a ring chain like a, uh, it so you can see this is make a ring like structure so therefore it is a ring like structure it make a close chain so there par carbon carbon bonding mean that carbon atom is allowed to make bond with itself by making stride chain stride chain uh, branched chain and also a ring like palm so there par carbon is a unique element which occur in different organic compound like in some organic compound a carbon will make stride chain while in some it will make like uh, this branched chain while in some it will make like 
this ring like structure so there par the ring starch and branch structure they all have different shapes different structure so there par they all have they all have the uh, ligation of forming different organic compound the third one is a carbon bonding to other element it is also a very good ability of the carbon to make bond with other element other than itself like there i mentioned hydrogen so carbon is allowed to make bond with a uh, different element is a carbon so it is allowed to make also bond with the sulfur also with the uh, nitrogen also with the oxygen also with the hydrogen so and also with other halide element so there par carbon is unique element to make bond also with other element there par it give us different element like if it make bond with a nitrogen so different uh, organic compound different organic compound different different so the different difference give us million of organic compound and this way we going on to receive more organic compound by the virtue of carbon bonding with other element and also with itself and also palm four covalent bond and this this attack is very mentioned that carbon will palm four covalent bond four like in this carbon make three covalent bond with hydrogen and one with itself so it is the only uh, virtue it is only the ability of carbon to make covalent four covalent bond next we will talk about the other element the next reason uh, for the carbon uniqueness is the mode of bonding so the mode of bonding is also a very good property for the carbon in order to occur in unique structure and uh, form different organic compound so the mode of bonding carbon can form single double and triple bond in their compound so this is the ability of carbon that carbon can form single bond double bond and triple bond you can see here that this is a carbon so it make single bond there also hydrogen this is an example of alkene so when the carbon may uh, make single covalent bond this is called a alkene this is example of alkene we will talk about alkene in our next lecture okay so carbon can form single covalent bond double covalent bond this is a double covalent bond this is example of alkene alkene so you can see here that we study before we mentioned that carbon must the carbon will must make four covalent bond so there par this one two three four so four bond are completed and also make one uh, double covalent bond and two single covalent bond and also can make one triple covalent bond and one single bond the example of alkyne we'll talk about this in uh, our next lectures so okay carbon can make single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond due to this characteristic of carbon it occur in different form and different organic compound okay the next is the arrangement of atoms so carbon occur in different uh, organic compound and different arrangement and some occur in uh, between some occur in n so this is also ability of carbon to give different structure different shape to different organic compound so carbon have different arrangement ability and different compound you can see here this is example of ether example of alcohol so they all have c2 h6 and o this also have two uh, carbon six hydrogen and one oxygen these and this also have but due to uh, different arrangement they are differentiated from each other this name is given as ether this is given alcohol they both have different chemical property not only the physical but also the chemical property due to the arrangement of carbon atoms you can see here they there such three and the end O oh, oxygen is in the between such three is there so it make c2 and h6o 
while there CH3 this is the uh, the first part but this may this go, go to the center and make CH2 and give one hydrogen of it to the oxygen and make as a you can see here hydroxyl group you can see here that CH3 is in the first part while the second CH3 goes to the center and give one hydrogen to the O oxygen and make as a hydroxyl and it come to the in position. So therefore, due to different arrangement of carbon atom, also the chemical property of this uh, organic compound also changes. And this is also the ability of the carbon that the carbon may cool and burn, but this cool and burn is very strong because the size of carbon is very small. So due to small size, it has the ability to pump cool and burn with the a lot of uh, elements, oxygen, hydrogen, sulfur, halide, hel halogen, a lot of, due to small size, it has the ability to make a lot of uh, isotopes with the different elements. So this was about the uh, why the carbon have uh, a carbon make the million of organic compound. So I hope this lecture may be helpful to you. And if you have any doubt, any question, so you can mention in the comment and please subscribe and share my lecture for next video. See you next time.